half off. Look at how much further half my feet are away half from half you. Off. The butt on the stair. It's interesting how our feet go different. What do you mean? Like, mine don't really naturally go together like that. It kind of hurts. Oh, really? It seems like you have two shoes that go the same way. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like the guy in um, like, Best like in Show who has two left way. feet? You mean like start, start? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? A lot like start talking, start. Hello, Junior Queer Chat. Hi. Um, I have a special guest this week. <laughs> it's Dylan. <laughs> If you couldn't guess already, it's Dylan. It's very exciting. I can see myself in the camera. I know, it's, it's kind of weird, good. and I'm looking at myself. Should I turn it? I'm going to turn it around. <laughs> Do you want me to turn it around? Well, <laughs> I feel like we should keep in the frame. I know. But as long as we really like each other, I think it'll be okay. So you can and turn it around. All right. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Today we're talking about uh, gender presentation and mannerisms yes. and uh, whether or not we change certain mannerisms in order to present or be perceived differently yes due to gender well put <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you like me to start or yeah, would you go, like to start go ahead sam um i haven't given this that much thought other than dylan and i really like each other because of our mannerisms, in addition to many reasons, right. but we really like that um, we both like presenting in a masculine way, but not changing our mannerisms in any way because we like being true to ourselves. Um, right. Yeah. Like, it's a very weird gender to have, in my opinion, because it's like, be for me, like being female bodied but not transitioning, it's like. I identify as masculine, but most of my mannerisms are feminine. Right. Yeah. And I like it that way. Like, I think it's okay. And, like, it would make sense to me if I was... Like, you see plenty of people who are born as a male sex and uh, have feminine mannerisms. I just wasn't born that way, but kind of identify that way, but not completely but have feminine mannerisms, and it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> In the middle of that, I smiled really big. <laughs> and it's because I realized we were making a video together, and it made me so happy. Oh, Sam. Um, <laughs> I was also going to say that I have recently, or uh, I don't know, in the past, like, six months, decided that um, I'm not going to classify though it's kind of impossible and society already has, but I like for myself thinking about uh, mannerisms, including personality, in, uh, eh. <laughs> mannerisms, including personality in non-gendered terms. I think that they are not gendered things and they shouldn't be, they're just who we are. And like, you know, I would have said previously completely the same thing that Dylan said, because I mean, I'm like really, really girly. There, look, I said it, and you know what I mean, and I know what I mean, and Dylan knows what I mean, but I don't like the word girly. I'm not gonna use it anymore, and it doesn't work anymore because I'm deconstructing the whole idea of what girly even means. Um, and if it just had a different way of being described that wasn't in a masculine way or a feminine way, it would make me a lot happier. So, you know, the way that we could describe our mannerisms in a non-gendered way would be Hmm. <laughs> uh, you would we, just take out all gender, right? Yeah. So, like, voice inflection or, like, giddiness or, like, hand gesture It's so weird thing. because, like, in our society, those things are not separated from gender at all. Right. Like, you can't... If, if everything you just did, like, in my head, I thought, like, masculine or feminine, like, you... Right. This is our job. I hate gender. This is our job. We but are going to deconstruct it until it dies. I think that's really interesting. And I think that, I, I definitely think that way. But I did move from, like, calling things more, I, I don't say, like, I'm more male or more female anymore. But I do usually describe things in a, like, masculine versus feminine kind of deal. Yeah. And I think it's just because it's easier for other people to understand. And really, I mean, I would be fine in my gender if nobody else had to understand it at all. Like, yeah. so it's not for me, it is for other people. 
otherwise. Like if it weren't classified or described. I would be fine. It's fine. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm good to go. Yeah. So it is helpful in a way. I agree. I agree. And it helps me, it, it has helped me wrap my brain around like a lot of the feelings that I have or like deconstructing like my own gender and figuring it out. But I think now that I figured it out, I don't want to use the words anymore. But I, think I that's understand cool. why you would. Oh, there goes the butt. Dylan came to visit. Yes, and it's very exciting. Yeah. And we uh, had food twice today. <laughs> yeah. Which makes me insanely happy. Me too. And uh, we got called ladies today. Yes. But it was okay because we were together. Yes. It made it better. It did. It did. Because mm. we were at the post office and the whole interaction was totally fine. And then the lady said, have a nice day, ladies, or something like that. Yeah. And we were both we're like, like, oh. Uh, <laughs> We made it so far. I know, I know. <sighs> but I think I think maybe she sensed that that was not quite the right thing. I just don't want to be rude, but I also at the same time don't want to encourage gendered behavior on the part of the public. Um, gendered labeling. Yeah, labeling. I just really think that people should be clued into the fact that if someone is presenting in a way that's you know, if they're having trouble deciding how that person wants to present, why don't they just not say anything? Like, it's right. it's not their job to try and figure out what the person is or is not. Yeah. Because you're not going to be able to tell how somebody identifies. So just don't say anything. Agreed. Say, have a nice day. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Seriously. Take out the sir. Take out the ma'am. Take out the ladies. Take out the... What's the what's the opposite of ladies for man? Gentlemen. Yes. Take I out really the gentlemen. I really like being called a gentleman. I actually really though. like that too. <laughs> so, but yeah. if, you can't, if you don't know that already, just don't say it. Yeah. Do I look tough? You look hell of tough. I think you should maybe growl or, s or what do they do? Uh, grunt. You should grunt. <laughs> I don't know how to grunt. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a cough. Err. No. <laughs> I only know how to grunt if you're gonna like chest bump mm. someone like, <sighs> like that, you know? I'm scared to be tough. Well, <laughs> <laughs> should I put on my hoodie? Yeah, yeah, that looks tough. What? What's your <laughs> Wait, what's your tough your tough look? My tough look? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think you should just be stoic when you're tough, you know? Like you can't talk at all and you should, you know. No emoting. No emoting. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Wait. Ready? <laughs> yeah. You should ask me questions cuz then it will really show that I'm tough. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of pie? That's a really hard question to answer masculinely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to be tough. I think you need to square your shoulders more. I think it's in stretch. stance, too. I think tough guys have their feet apart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just I don't know how to have a tough face. I don't know how to do I it. I you scowl. No. Does it help if you go? No. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds like poofing. Okay, be tough and tell me. <laughs> I like that best. Um, I do too. Be tough and tell me what is your favorite movie, Sam? Um, I don't like really even watch movies. <laughs> I shook the camera. <laughs> Tough guys apparently don't watch movies. No. Sam, hope you're not offended that your tough guy is not so tough. This is pretty tough. Maybe you should harden your face a little. Oh yeah, super tough. Faux show. I think we've been talking for a while. <laughs> okay, well let's stop then. <laughs> okay. Um, bye. Bye. <laughs> Whoa, what a frolic. Oh, he's amazing.